Okay, guys, good morning again. I think that we will start right now because it's late and we have to take advantage of the time because we have to uh, discover, right, how to use the formula, right, in order to calculate the volume, right, of a, of a, of a solid, right? So, but I think that the best way to start a class every day right, is a praying to our Lord, right? So, I think that is the first thing that we're gonna do. And today I'm gonna ask to Christian Manjiva to pray for us, right? And please, the rest of the class, you know the rules, yes? You know the rules, so please, Turn on your camera. Andrea y Leticia. Until you uh, turn on your camera, we will start. Miguel Ávila, Beiran, okay, so guys, eh, I think that we have to, to respect, right, así que por favor quiten los fondos, verdad, porque vamos a orar, verdad, no estemos jugando con esas cosas, right, so please close your eyes, Put your hands together, right? And let's give this uh, this time to our Lord, right? To keep us, yes? And uh, so, and uh, I'm gonna, we are gonna hear to Krista Manjiva because he's gonna pray for us today. I wanna see everybody praying, right, Caleb? Okay, Krista Manjiva, you may start now. Thank you, God, for this day. Uh for the classes and take care of us in this quarantine and protect us. Amen. Amen. So guys, uh, I'm going to ask to look for your book because we have to start at once. Today we have just one hour and we have to discuss, right, an important topic. Yes. I'm going to share with you Right, uh, what, which is the page that we are going to work today. Can you see the, the page? Yes, Mr. Yes. Yes, so we're going to work in page 593. Everybody, please, in 593. Are you there? Mr. What page? 593. Mr. You mean that page. Okay, so guys. Today, uh, do you remember that we were discussing about volume, right? That we were uh, doing, right, some exercises about the unit qubit. Do you remember of that? That we were counting, that we were counting, right? How many units qubit? A solid has, right? Do you remember that? Do you remember, guys, the last class or not? Yes. Yes or not? Yes. Why you didn't answer? You have to answer, right? So now I have a question for you. What did you do in order to count how many unit cubes we have in a solid? What did you do? Do you remember what did you do? Tell me what did you do? Tell me what did you do? We count the cubes from the front part. Yes. And we count the lines. Yes, right. And then you multiply, right? Yes. Yes, okay. So now uh, we're gonna try to solve this problem that we have here. 
right? But we are gonna, uh, okay, first you, are, you will use any way you choose and then I'm gonna tell you, right? I'm gonna explain how we are gonna solve these kind of problems, right? So I'm gonna ask to uh, Miguel Avila to read the problem we have here. Kevin needs a aquarium for his fish. The pet store has a fish tank in the shape of a rectangular prison that measures five feet long by two feet wide by four feet high. Kevin needs a fish tank that has a volume of at least 35 cubic feet. Will this fish tank be big enough? Solve this problem any way you choose. Okay, so first of all, we have to, 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 to pay attention to the measure of this thing, right? We have five feet long. Yes, we're gonna circle it. And also we have two feet wide, yes and four feet well high right so here we have a key about what we are gonna do so try to solve this problem and then we will see if you are right or not right try to do it long wide and height try to solve it no worries Think about it. How would you do it? Because Kevin needs a fish tank that has a volume of at least 35 cubic feet. What did you do? Did you finish? Or what would you do in this case? Actually, we are talking about calculating volume, right? The volume of the aquarium, yes? So what would you do? What would you do? You don't have an, you don't have idea about this problem? Did you finish, guys? Don't be afraid to, to share your answer, right? We are here for learning. Sí, tampoco se escucha. Not learning, right? So no worries if you commit a mistake or something like that, right? But I need you to, to try, right? I need you to try to do it. Because in that way we learn why, right? Someone finish? Someone who wants to share the answer and tell us what this person do, do or did? Miguel, Miguel Avila, Andrea Larisa, Kenneth, you finished? Sister, how to do, um... Nobody, guys? You know, okay, I, I want you to be honest. Do you have an idea how to solve this problem? Or would you like I to, uh, to explain? Do you like that I explain? I this problem or not? Or do you have an idea how to do it? Guys. Can you explain? Para yes. que no salen clases. Porque no contestan, 
Miss, you can explain. Yeah, Mr. You can explain. Oh, ya rato estoy preguntando y, y nobody say something. So, would you like I explain this topic? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. First of all, guys, we have to take care, right? In this, in this uh, keywords that we have here, right? Because remember that today we are going to learn a formula, right? To how to calculate volume, right, of a prism, right? Rectangular prism. And then we have three keywords, right? That are long, wide, and high, right? But we're going to move, right, to the next page. Yes, because here we have actually what we have to do, right? So, I don't know if you can see this solid that we have here, that we have six units, four units, and three units. Yes? Can you see that, guys? Yes. So, yes. and then, how can we, uh, how can we, calculate the volume, right, with this solid. So we're gonna read what we have here. And I'm gonna ask to glean is to read what we have here in this word. I read. Yes. Remember that volume is the number of cubic units needed to pack a solid figure without gaps or overlaps. Okay. Find the volume of the rectangular prism if each cubic unit represents one cubic foot. Okay, so remember that volume is the number of cubic units we have, right? In this case, we are going to talk about the to the third power. I don't know if you can see here. Can you see here that we have a little three? Yes, in the unit. Why do you think we are going to talk about the third power? Why, guys? Why do you think that we are going to use to the third power and not to the second power? You have an idea? Because we are going to use three numbers. Yeah, because uh, about the dimension that, that they are telling us, Right, we have three numbers, right? And these three numbers are, for example, here we have in the, the letter B, right? We have to calculate the volume, right? We have length multiplied by white and multiplied by height, right? We're gonna use these three. And then here, they are telling us, right, that which are they? Length is the first part that we have here in the front. The width is the part that we have uh, right here. And then the back part, we're gonna call it height, right? So do you understand this so far? Yes. Yes, so now, which is the formula that we are gonna use here? To find the volume of a rectangular prism, right? We have to use volume, right? And you have to multiply length by width first, yes? So, and which is the length of this is prism? Which it is? Six. Length. Six, right? So you are gonna multiply six. Six times four time four, right? And, and then we have a phase that is three, right? And then we first uh, start with the parentheses. Six times four is equal to? 24. 24, right? And then 24 times three is equal to? 72. 72, right? So now, Sorry. 
we're gonna do it right right here i don't know if you can see the board that i have here yes can you yes. see the yes. yes yes so we're gonna try to do this like for example here we have right the, the rectangle right but we have to become this rectangular, right, in a 3D dimension, right? Because we're talking about three. Yes? So, then here we have, right? Now here we have, does it mean that this is uh, the rectangular prism that we are going to offer, right? And then we have here six from length, right? They fit, right? And then here, what we have for white, which is the, the measure we have for white, guys? Which is the measure we have for white, right? Four. Four. For what? Four feet. Yes, of course. And then on the back part, which is the measure we have? Three feet. Three feet, right? So guys, now, now that we have the, the, the units, right, the dimension of this, we're gonna use the formula, right? Yes, and which is the formula that they are telling us to use? Tell me. To calculate volume, that's right here, volume. Volume, right? What we're gonna do? First, we're gonna multiply, right? We're gonna multiply the length The length by what, guys? By the width. By the width, right? By the width, and then by, by the, the height. By the height. By the height. By the height, right? By the height. So, now that we have the formula here, guys, what we're gonna do? First, the length, which is the length part in this uh, prism? Which is the Six. length part? This one part, right? The, the front, right? This is the length, and this is the width, and this part is the, the height, right? Que la altura, yes? So, then, if we have here six, right? First of all, when we are, when you are uh, developing a formula, right? You have to use the symbol of the formula, right? So, if we are talking about volume, right? The symbol of this, uh, the symbol of this formula will be B is equal to, right? And then we open parentheses, right? And we're gonna explain what we have to do. And we have land, right? By width, width. yes. And then we close parentheses. And times height. And times height. Right? So now that we have the formula ready here, we're gonna try it again. Volume, right? It is equal to, okay. Now it is time to place the numbers, right? 
And then, which is the first number that we are going to place? Six. Number six, right? But uh, do we have to open the parentheses or not? Yes, we need to open. Yeah, we need to open it, right? And then, six, because we are talking about six feet in the length, right? And then they are telling me that we have to multiply six times four. Four. That is the width, right? And then we close, close parentheses. parentheses. And then we have to add the other part, right? The multiplication that will be times three. Three, right? That is the length. Yes? And now that I have ready the numbers, guys, what do I have to do? First, multiply the, the numbers that are in parentheses. Yes, we are going to solve the parentheses part right first. And then 6 times 4 is equal to? 24. 24, right? And what, and what happened with the numbers? 24, we're going to multiply it. Yes, we are going to get down the number? Three. Three. And we have it like this. Yes? And then now I have a multiplication ready. Just two solve it, right? And then we have here volume is equal to 24 times 3 is equal to 72. 72. 72. Two. Yes? Do you have questions so far, guys? No, it's no? easy. easy. No. It was easy for you? Yes, yes Mr. So, we're going to try to solve. Right? We're going to erase this. I'm going to erase this. We have just 10 more minutes. And we are going to try to solve, or we are going to solve the first exercise we have, right, in uh, the, the independent practice, right? Okay, and then, I, I forget something. And what happened with the answer, guys? What happened with the answer? You have to write 72, like this. 72 what? feet. Feet. Right? And yeah. we're talking to the which power? Third. So third, that, three. third power, right? Because we are using three dimensions, right? We are talking about length, width, and height. Yes? That's why we use to the third power. And what happens if, if instead of feet, we have centimeters here? What happened here? What happened? Do you know what to do here? That it is, will be centimeters. Centimeters, right? So now, now we are gonna move to the next uh, page, right? That we have to calculate this one, right? Number three. But we're gonna do it together, right? Now, guys. Now we're talking in, okay, I want you to tell me, right, the, the measure of this, uh, of this square. Okay, would you please tell me which is the dimension we have in land here? Which it is, guys? We have it in inches. In inches, right? But which it is the land here? The number that we have there, which it is? Nine. 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 Nine what? Inch. Inches. Mm -hmm. And what happened with width? Which is the measure we have here? Two inches. Two. Two. 
And the height, where, where is it, the height? Four inches. Four inches, right? So, what do we have to do here? We're gonna do the same here, right? But the only thing that we will change the number, right? But the formula will be the same, yes? And then, what do I have to do here? here I have the formula, and then volume is equal to what? Land, the multiple, Nine. right? And which is the length? Nine, Nine. Nine. inches. By? Two. By two. two. And then, what happened here? Close parentheses. Yes, and then? Times four. 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 Yes. And then, volume is equal to? Nines times two is equal to? Eighteen. 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 Yes. And what happened with the multiplication I have here? I get down. Uh, we're going to get down before. Four. And then I have the multiplication ready here. What happened now? Volume is equal to 18 times 4. That is equal to what? 22. What? 22. Could you repeat again? 72. 72 again? Yes, 72. Yes. Okay. Yes. Then that is equal to 72. 72 inches. And the answer would be 72 inches, right? But what happened? Just that? No. What is missing? The third Power. unit. To the third Power. Yes, because we are talking about three dimension. dimension. Yes? So and that's the answer. As simple as this. Ask a question. So, okay, Beira. What, what happens if the fraction is the same numbers? The fraction? Yes. For example, in number nine. Yes. They have the same number. In number nine? Yes, exercise number nine. Okay, you have I the don't same number nine about that. Four? Same number. You have the same measure? Let's see what, what you mean. Wait. wait. Mr. Mayna means that the the, the, the same number repeats in in all in length and width and height. Okay, but what happened here? We have the same number here because we have a cubit, right? And that is not a rectangular, right? And here in number seven as well. Yes. And then here we have an example, right, of what I show you. Do you remember the the pieces that I show you? Yes. So those are squares, right? But in 3D dimension, right? So yes. what you have to do here? You have to multiply seven times seven. Equal to 49. To 49, and then 49 times seven is equal to? Wait, mister. And that's the answer, right? It doesn't matter. You have to operate the numbers that they are telling us to us, right? That they are telling us. That's the only thing that you have to do. And this topic is easy, guys, because if you have the formula, right, they will give us, right, the, the measurement, and we have just to operate the numbers, right? So, yes. we have two minutes, and please try to solve number five. Try to solve number five before we finish. Hurry up using the formula, right? Remember to use the formula. Did you finish? Yes. 
Yes, of course. Yes, we have to use all the formula. Mr. The answer of number five is 84. 84, are you sure about it? Yes. And what about the rest? Did you finish? Yes. Yes. And which is the answer? 84 what? 84 inches at a third part. Inches. The third power. Centimeters. Centimeters of the third power. Power, right? Yes, so, power. yes, of course. That's the answer, guys. So, guys, listen what you're going to do. You have to... Okay, it is difficult because we have just one hour today. Right? So, these exercises you have to develop at home, right? As homework. Yes. You have to solve page, right? You finish this page that is 595. And then the next page that is the problem page that is 596. And then Five hundred ninety-seven. Just that one. Just oh, okay. But you have to send it to me to my email address because I need to check if you understand the topic, right? Mister, what page? Five hundred ninety-five. Yes. Then five hundred ninety-six and five hundred ninety-seven. Yes. Yes. And you have, I recommend you guys that you have to send it to me. Okay, actually you have to send it to me, but I recommend you to work, right, on your notebook because you don't have space there to develop the formula, right? All the, the formula and the notebook and the answer 